Welcome back to Degrees of Separation. I'm Lydra, and let's get started. Today, we're going to explore one of these new worlds, the Caves of Memory. This world was torn with fissures and shadows. Okay, well, let's see what's up here. Uh, so far, uh, like we definitely don't have an explosive power this time. That's great. The cold and warmth of their worlds felt fragile, delicate. Hmm. Um, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and fall. Also, uh, oh, I can't. It's blocking my way. Okay, so I think I need to switch. I am noticing that the transition effect between the two of them looks a lot different than it normally does. I'm really curious what that's going to mean. They rose together, but it never felt more apart. <gasps> oh no. At the bottom of the shaft, light like truth shone from a statue's eyes. In its gaze, there were worlds constricted about them. Okay, well this looks like it might be the door back. All right, it certainly is. I wonder what that first moment was supposed to tell us. So it looks like uh, some of the previous worlds we've been able to slightly affect each other's worlds. And I'm wondering if in this particular world that's not the case. We have no ability to affect each other. Mm. Okay. Um, let's see. Okay, so Rhyme can lower that platform and Emmer can climb onto it. Oh, I see. Their worlds are very limited. Uh, so interesting. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is have Ember come here and then try to jump. Mmm, doesn't work. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll have Rhyme lower the platform, and then because it'll stay in place, he can climb up while Ember lifts. If she can get over. Okay. There we go. Alright, first scarf. Oh, this will be interesting. Everything's in a lot more stasis. Alright, so let's see. There's probably like a vent or something here. That looks like a vent to me. Oh, interesting. Okay, so... Ember can stay there and cause Rhyme to fly up. Rhyme can still make his presence felt. As could Ember, but barely. They could only work in concert from a distance, as if the world was forcing them apart. Yeah. It's interesting, like, I think the gray color here is really trying to emphasize that aspect of this world. All right, let's see what these lift or lower. I'm not exactly sure how to get to that scarf over there. Um, for now, I, oh, I see, there's a uh, black here. It's a little hard to spot because everything's so gray, but I think this might be a situation where Rhyme is going to need to roll that around and make it a nice big snowball to jump on. Uh, so, if he just comes up here... Mm. Uh, there's not... It's not like there's any vents or anything, so... Oh, I see. Okay, so what I think is actually going to need to happen is I think I need to lower these platforms and push the block onto them. Uh, but I think maybe Ember needs to do that. So what I want to do is uh, bring the platforms up high enough, 
Or bring the, s the snowball up high enough, I mean. Mm. Is it going to lower all the way? Oh, maybe Rhyme has to uh, affect the one. There we go. Perfect. So we've got them down. And then... Hmm. Okay, I'm going to switch places. I'm going to have Rhyme hold the block in place while Ember attempts to raise the platform. Perfect. Oh no! Um, Uh-oh. There we go. Come on. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe Rhyme can actually just drop down. Will that push it all the way up? It's not quite right. Um, I think I'm going to need to do this again and just come back around and melt this. And this time we're going to need to have a uh, rhyme stand further back on the platform so that the snowball gets some momentum. Uh, Let's see. Okay, so Ember's going to move forward and Rhyme's going to help lower this all the way down. Perfect. And then Rhyme can jump over and just move this all the way up the side of the platform. Really get it all the way up there. Perfect. Okay, and now Rhyme is going to move off. Oh, and onto this rope so he can really give it a nice shove. Perfect. Okay, and so now the goal is to have the snowball fall into that hole uh, without melting all the way. So, let's see what happens if I just come in a little bit. There we go. Okay, just a little bit more. It's almost there. Oh. And now Rhyme can come in. Perfect! Okay. Rhyme was still able to use the elements to call forth solutions from home, but it fell to Ember to make them work correctly. Mm -hmm. All right. Interesting. Um, how do these connect together? I'm not really sure yet. I think we'll just have to move forward for the moment. Alright, let's see how we're doing with our scarves. We have everything so far, so we're okay. Mm -hmm, that's gonna lower that. Okay. Interesting. They could feel the rumbling of platforms and tunnels below, shifting at the lantern's whims. Okay, so th for the moment, I think I'm going to have Rhyme lower the platforms. And I think Ember's ultimately going to need to lift them, is my guess. Not having gotten a total look at the puzzle. But we're just going to send Rhyme all the way across. And then see... Okay, so Rhyme can step forward now. Oh no, he can't. It's too... Too uh, tight a distance. I don't think I lifted it too much. Well, let's take a quick look. So, it looks like there's probably a rope with a pulley back there. I think I'm going to have Rhyme lower this one platform here. Hmm. How far down can that one go, huh? Uh... So Ember definitely needs to be the one to lift these platforms. So I am going to bring her back up because she seems like the 
obvious elemental to make these important decisions. And we're going to leave her in the center so that she can be selective. Uh, it looks almost like I need to roll something down into here, to be honest. Um, like I need to fill another gap. So I'm actually going to go back and see if it's possible to roll that, uh, that stump all the way over here. Uh, this kind of reminds me of the well puzzle in the way that it's constructed from uh, the first world, the fields of promise. And I just, I have a feeling, so I want to try it. So I think the first thing I need to do is I need to get Ember to fall down into this hole so that she can melt the stump. And then we're going to have to work together to push it up this, uh, this elevator. Great. Okay, so... Oh, we're going to need to bring Rhyme down. Oh, no, 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 no. Not just yet, though. <laughs> you got to stay up there for just a moment, buddy. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to have uh, Ember come over and take over holding up the stump for a second. And then Rhyme... Mm. Okay, we gotta be really careful about this. We don't want it to fall off. Uh, so then Rhyme is gonna come down and finish moving the elevator all the way up. Oh, does that not work? Hmm. I really thought he'd be able to lower this balloon a little bit more. Hmm. I don't really see any way that I could move the stump from a different direction. Um, I think for the moment I'm just going to go see if maybe there is a stump further along in the tunnel. Because I'm not really sure yet how to lift that elevator, if that's what I need to do. It would have been a pretty, like, neat design, right? If that's what was supposed to happen, but... Rhyme's chilling effect caused the platforms to invert. And the stair above them became a stair below. Oh, interesting. Okay, let's find out about that. Come on, Rhyme. Oh, interesting. Okay. Okay, so Rhyme can definitely bring the staircase up. It did seem actually like there might have been. Though divided, they always found their way back to each other. Oh, interesting. Okay, so now I'm kind of curious if actually what needs to happen is Rhyme's the one who comes up here. And then Ember will come lift the staircase so Rhyme can climb it in the opposite direction. Yeah. All right, let's see what's up here. Very curious. Ember's touch had caused the stairs to stretch skyward. She watched Rhyme rise out of sight. The mechanism seemed constructed to divide them. Mm -hmm. It definitely is. Hmm. 
Well, uh, we didn't test this gap super carefully, so I'm just going to go ahead and try to very carefully lift this and just see if it's actually too tall for Rhyme to climb on. Oh, there. Okay. Balancing the lanterns provided a bridge across the chasm below. The scarf in hand, its weight was a reminder of the weight between them. Gathering the scarves no longer brought joy, only an increasing fear between them. Interesting. So I'm going to need to get them both over there. So I think my hope is that I didn't lift the platform too much and Ember can climb on it. Okay, perfect. Okay, that was actually, I was making that one way too hard. Did we miss a direction? I'm not actually sure. I think we might have. Uh, let's just uh, run back to the last waypoint and see where it thinks we should go. This world really is very quiet. Like, in a certain way... In a certain way, it's kind of like a... When you've run out of things to say to each other, you know? Hmm. Okay, well... I guess the only way is forward. It still feels like I should be able to get up there, and I can't seem to, but... Oh, that was where the vent was. I remember now. Okay. Well, no big deal. Let's just go travel to where that staircase was and see what's past it. The world clawed at them, the ore in the air swirling, coalescing into... Chains. The ore had shackled them. The light and frost of their world shrank, captured in spheres. The spheres, the hearts of their worlds, dragged behind them, captured by the ore. Oh, interesting. Past this point, we get shackled. Oh, that doesn't seem good. The statues were memorials, a queen and a king, forever separated. Interesting. So pressing E, I'm allowed to add or remove the ball, but it's unclear what the ball does exactly. Um, it might actually be less of a shackle and more of an anchor. Like, you can see that Ember is able to prevent herself from moving forward if she wants to. And the shackles are able to uh, tangle up but I'm also able to use them to affect areas that aren't directly associated with Ember. Like, she can affect slightly more than she otherwise might. Uh, so let's see. Uh, if I just dematerialize there, and then Ember can join Rhyme. Oh, interesting. Okay. Ember could feel the sphere of her world being pulled from beneath the ground. It wrenched at her, like a piece of her had been torn away. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, well this is a very interesting mechanic, I think. This world, it was a hollow one. Whatever had lived here, it was absent now. Mm -hmm. Alright, well let's have Rhyme bring down the platform. And I think ultimately this is going to be one of those situations where Ember is going to need to uh, bring out her anchor and then roll it down so that the platform can rise. Perfect. And then she'll just have to dissolve it. Oh no. Oh, why can't I lift? There we go. And then we have this rope that hopefully pulls this. Perfect. The scarves seemed more at home here. The fabric seemed to drink in the darkness around it. Wow, this uh, this level's really dark. 
With no ore in sight, they wondered at the purpose of the machines. The caves felt more like a grave than a mine. Excavating the ore had only created graves to fill. Mining the world had ended it. Interesting. It's a very uncomfortable thought, isn't it? Uh, but let's go ahead and see what this balloon here does. I think this might actually be a job for Rhyme, since Ember doesn't seem to have any effect on that, on that one. Come on, Ryan. Get your anchor over here. There we go. Oh, interesting. Okay, so now he can run across. And Ember can lift the balloon. Somewhat. Not completely. Um, maybe she can actually just run up and join him. But on uh, the other side. There we go. And now he should be able to run across. It was a long way to fall, Ember thought. She turned her face from Rhyme's ghostly white light so he would not see her fear. What? Yeah. All right, well. Okay, let's just tuck on our scarf. So we have missed one, so let's just run back really fast and find it. Uh, it's got to be near here. Hmm. It's probably just up right here. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Okay, so... Can I roll this in? Great. Okay, and then... Is Rhyme able to... Line? No? Let's just try pushing it in a little bit more. Nope. Okay. Uh, let's try having Rhyme go and just see what happens if we lower this all the way. Okay, great. So I think maybe Ember can... Oh, you know what? Actually, okay. Rhyme will jump up here. The caves had worked to drive them apart. Now, it seemed to encourage them to cast their worlds away as well. Okay, so how do I lift this platform? Okay, so I think Rhyme's gonna have to just bring this ball around and just roll it in. Oh, actually, you know what? I bet you Ember can push it in with her own anchor. Yeah. Oh, not quite enough. Though they loved their worlds, neither wanted to be shackled to them. It was the first time they thought of their worlds as burdens. Okay, so we're really close with this one. Let's see, I just need to get... Okay, so... Oh, I'm so close. I just need to get a uh, rhyme to drag his world in. Oh no! Oh, got shackled at just the wrong moment. Well, let's actually just try jumping here. I haven't actually given that a try. Mm, doesn't work. Okay. Uh, maybe I'm using the wrong elemental. Maybe that's what it is. I'm actually going to switch them. I'm going to try that. Uh, let's go ahead and just have Rhyme shove his anchor in there, and then Ember 
will go ahead and drag her anchor in just long enough that she can climb on the platform. Yeah, perfect. Okay, I think I was just thinking about this a little bit backwards because I wasn't thinking about the third step, uh, which is lifting the platform back up. Okay, so we're just going to follow forward. Let's see, how many stars do we have so far? We've got everything. It's good. Okay, so Ryan was able to lift. The stone blocks had been shaped and carved not only to seal the caves, but to lock it in place. Someone had sculpted their own cage. The gate seemed built to seal the caves, containing whatever lay within. Hmm, how do I get up to that rope? Oh, I see. Okay, perfect. The wooden supports for the stone blocks above looked as if they had been designed to collapse, burying the tunnel. Hmm. So I almost wonder if maybe the thin ramps of stone looked precariously balanced, yet held their weight without shifting. The plateaus of rock felt razor thin, yet held their weight without moving, as if the ground refused to give way for them. Mm -hmm. I almost wonder if the dragon and the king are actually uh, the king and queen that keep getting mentioned in the story. Oh, this is interesting. So we have two waypoints that we can actually see right next to each other. Uh, and I'm wondering if that's meaningful for solving the next puzzle. So let's see if Ember moves forward, if there's a place to drop down. Uh, it looks like there is. Uh, so that's curious. This seems like an interesting chasm here. And they did give us a hint about the platforms potentially being unstable. So I think I'm going to go back up this way and see what we can learn. Uh, maybe it's possible to jump over onto these. Great. Okay. So let's see. Well, first things first, we have a scarf right there. Hmm, can't really see it very well. Hmm. Alright, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave Rhyme here for the moment. I'm going to have Ember come up and around just so she can get a better sense of what this puzzle looks like. And uh, we might have to bring Rhyme. Into we might have to bring Rhyme into a new area, but for the moment, okay, let's yeah, let's bring Rhyme forward. Uh, he might be able to help us get a better view. There we go. Okay, so we have a little bit of a platform as well as a rope. It doesn't look like it doesn't look like a there's any balloons or anything, but I'm wondering if maybe uh there's some way to cause this platform to break.
Or, okay, so this is a weird thought. I wonder if the anchors themselves can be used to collect the scarves. Like, what if Ember brings this anchor down? Oh, interesting. It's not long enough. Oh, it just broke, though. Hmm. But that might still be a thought, actually. What if we have Rhyme come over here and drop his anchor and just bring it around underneath like this? Hmm. Okay, so he's getting somewhere. Oh, he can't lift it. Interesting. Okay, so what if he just moves really, really fast? Mm -hmm. Okay, so he can't jump. Maybe if they both have their anchors dropped in that manner, that will have some kind of unexpected effect. Uh, this is very weird. <laughs> it's also really interesting, like, from a controls perspective, uh, the anchors are definitely providing kind of a weight to the character. It really changes how the character moves, uh, which I do actually find to be... <laughs> Interesting, in kind of a weird way. Oh, interesting. They can't actually um, jump over each other at this point. Oh, but I was able to kind of swing Ember's anchor in. I literally have no idea if this has, like, any beneficial effect at all. <laughs> Like, why am I doing this? I don't know. I really don't know. Um, like, does it matter that it's winter there, summer there? It doesn't seem to. Uh, let's go ahead and just actually have Ember examine the area for events or something. I feel like there's almost a vent... Hmm. Oh no, her reach just doesn't, uh, it doesn't go far enough for us to get a good sense. I don't know, you guys. Oh my god, I have the weirdest idea. Okay, so... Um, I think what I need to do... I was thinking about this the wrong way. It's not the anchor that needs to go underneath. It's the elemental. Oh my god, this is like so cool. I'm sorry, but this is amazing. <laughs> um, okay, so we both get to do it. We both get to go... Uh, uh, what is it called? Like when you... Um, it's not hang gliding. Um... Zip lighting. We're, we're zip lighting, you guys. <laughs> um, I love it. <laughs> so weird. Like this, this level is so calm, and just kind of like, you know, like sleepy and gray, and like all of the metaphors are about like caves and distance, and then we just go zip lining. Okay, let's see. Um, okay, so I think this might hopefully be kind of another uh, ziplining experiment, actually. So um, I need to get up onto the edge of this ledge, I think. Oh, interesting. Okay, so this one's going to be a little bit harder to control, but the ball should just kind of roll me down the right way. And then, 
I don't know when to get off. Uh, I think I'm actually just going to, like, keep moving forward and see. Okay, great. Okay, so... That... I think is going to allow Ember to um, kind of do her own zip lining here. And then she'll be able to drop down halfway, I think. And here we go. Ooh, okay, this is a little nerve wracking, but I think basically what she's going to do is she's going to drop here. And then. Rhyme will just drop off the rope and bring her up. Okay. Uh. Ooh. Uh, the mechanic of this world is like <laughs> really cool. And for me personally, I wouldn't say that like. The music or the theme of the world really fits it. Um, mostly just because I find it so fun and exciting. <laughs> um, overall, I think they've done a really good job, like thematically keeping everything feeling really relevant. I think this is the first time there hasn't been a total match between the theme and the gameplay for me. Okay, so just more zip lining. Like, we're just gonna pretend that we have really bright, happy music and just zip line like crazy this level. I really hope I get to keep doing a lot of this uh, because it is really fun. The shackles were not a burden, the sphere of their world grounded them and allowed them to fly free. Yes, I have noticed that the point where I'm no longer calling them shackles, right? I'm calling them anchors. Because that's really what they are. They're just grounding me a little bit, like they said. Helping me move in position. Even with the slope of the caves against them, the scarf was theirs. This scarf seemed as if it could not be seized by one swinging alone. The slope did not lend itself to reaching it. As if the ground was fighting them, keeping them apart. Uh, yes, this is true. So I think what needs to happen is uh, Rhyme is going to need to place his uh, anchor here and then jump over Ember. I don't think it technically needs to be Rhyme or Ember. Like so far, I have no information that would suggest that. Uh, just that those are the elementals I'm choosing in this moment. <laughs> Um, and then we're going to have Rhyme just jump off the edge here. And then hopefully Amber will be able to swing him up. This is so cool. So for me, actually, one thing I find really interesting about that is that uh, when Ember's moving the anchor, it moves really easily. Uh, there's no burden the way that there is when Rhyme's trying to move his own anchor. The land grew more jagged and thin. The caverns and gaps grew larger, wind rushing through the hollows. All right, well, this looks like a pretty good place to stop since it looks like we have about half the scarves. Thank you so much for joining me. And if you enjoyed this episode, I hope you'll consider liking and subscribing. See you next time when we finish up the Caves of Memory.